Hi everyone. Um, so this is the third installation of our video introducing um, data exploration techniques in R uh, for CSE 5338-7338 Security Economics. Um, so up to now we have introduced the data set we're working with which are data breaches um, from the Privacy Rights Clearinghouse. We've talked about how you can use data frames in the first um, in the first video. In the second video we looked at um, how you can explore graphically um, different numerical variables that you have so within your data frame. So we looked at the box plot, the strip chart, and the empirical cumulative distribution functions. Um, yeah, but in those cases we only looked at where you were looking at just the distribution of that numerical variable. Today we're going to revisit those charts, but what we're going to do is we're going to um, break up the data set uh, according to different categorical variables. So fortunately R makes this pretty easy um, as we'll see now. So I'll switch over to my screen. There's our Hall of Mirrors and let's get started. So I'm picking up where we left off so you can again reference the code um, from the course website to see this information to get us to get caught where we are. So, um, let's see. Okay. So, the thing we saw last time was if we wanted to plot something like the log of, of the number of breaches, um, we just plot it in there um, by saying, you know, strip chart, log, breach, and then fill in our parameters. Well, well, it's almost as simple if what we wanted to do is we want to split up um, this, this numerical calculation of plotting the log of the number of breaches, but if we want to break it up by some categorical variable, like say the organization that is affected, we can do that uh, using this little bit of code here, where we, where we have what we pass as our argument to strip chart now a formula. Um, and this formula uh, tells us that the, the first uh, variable we pass is our dependent variable. Um, and then we say squiggle, a tilde, uh, and then we pass it an um, independent variable. Uh, so uh, in this case, say the type of organization, org type. So we have our numerical variable on the left because that's um, our dependent variable, and then we're um, breaking it up by this org type on the right. So just add that in there. What do we get? We get this nice, smart um, breakup of the uh, strip chart by our categorical variable. So that's pretty cool, I think. So we have all the different category variables here. So we have if it's an NGO, medical, government, organization, EDU, so university and school business retail and business other and business, I can't remember the F. So we have this and we can look at this and say, ah, oh, so how does the distribution of the number of breaches vary according to these groups? Well, one thing I would say is it looks like only some groups bother to report small breaches, like universities and schools, they seem to, they seem to have some sort of threshold and thinking right around maybe 10 records or some, some single digit small number of records that they, they're just not going to report. Um, whereas, you know, government and hospitals, some, there are a few instances of these low frequency incidents. Um, we also see for most categories there, that we have that there are outliers, like certainly uh, across business types here, we have a very wide range of values. So we have small, numbers of records lost, and then we have very large numbers of records lost. Um, however, um, when you look at EDU, for instance, the biggest number of, of breaches here is less than six, so less than a million. Uh, so there is some scope to uh, how much PII can be lost for that organization, uh, that class of organization. So you can take this information and say, all right, well, um, a university isn't going to have uh, as extreme of a data breach incident from what we've seen in the past, which makes sense given the nature of the organization. 
Um, but the cool thing about this really is that it was just one minor tweak to our code which allowed us to um, break this up, break this numerical variable up according to its different values in the categorical variable. So we can do something similar by breaking up by the method of hack of attack and you see we end up with something like this here. So um, this tells us the different types of breach. So we have a card, um, we have a discovered, uh, discovered, insider attack, so on and so forth, and the distributions vary. Uh, you can see that certain ones, like, certain ones seem to be concentrated in a slightly larger, even though they have, they're on the gamut. So the physical loss seems to be more bounded and a bit smaller, whereas the loss of a portable device has the extremes and it also needs to be kind of concentrated further off to the right in terms of the number of breaches that get, number of records that are breached. Um, and then the, th the third categorical variable we might try is the source of the data. So that's what data source is and uh, right so I had to set the parameter to have a wide left margin so we can see what each of these values are. Uh, so that's what that first line of code did. But we can see that you know data loss DB seems to be where most of the reports come from. Um, and it runs the gamut. Uh, you know, HHS via PHP privacy net seems to only have breaches that reach a certain threshold. Um, similar for the California Attorney General, they seem to only be reporting larger breaches, but there's such a small number that um, it's hard to say for sure. Okay, so so that's with the strip chart. We can do we can do the same thing with a box plot. Um, so the first thing we might try is how the number of breaches vary by organization type. So this is we're going to be looking at the same data as we did with the strip chart. The only thing we're changing is the plot. So you're going to see a lot of the same stuff, but now we can see that um, well. Retail businesses have the have the lowest median number of records breached somewhere compared to where the others all seem to be considered fairly comparable. Having said that, they seem to also have an outlier where they're they have I think probably the single largest value for any for the number of records breached. So that is a concern. Um, we could see something similar by looking at the um, how things break up by hack type of hack. And here we see more variation, right? So we see that median value for card hacks and insiders is considerably lower than it is, say, for hacks and for um, portable losses. So um, we'll do one more for the data source. And we can see again here that there is some variation, but um, not a huge amount. Okay, so that's all well and good, but one of the so one of the ways you might want to improve um, the presentation of these graphs to your viewer is by sorting in some way or another. So sorting the categories. So um, the cat categorical variables sometimes have their own natural sorting. You know, like if it's a categorical variable between like low, medium, and high, you know, you'd want to have those in that specific order. You wouldn't want to have medium, high, low, for instance. Um, but for other categorical variables, there's no obvious um, ordering. So you have an unordered category. Uh, and so for that, you can still assign uh, an order. Uh, and um, from what we've seen in these box plots, it'd be kind of nice if we maybe reordered the categories by the size uh, by the median value, um, okay? And so we can use that, we can do that using this reorder command um, where we take the hack type value, value variable and when we change its value to now um, be reorder, reordered by the median of the log breach value for all the values in each of the hack type categories, okay? So if we do that, and we make our box plot, we'll see that now, voila, the categories are ordered from 
least to greatest median value. So we can see directly that card and insider are less than these other categories that you know, port, portable and uh, device loss and hack are the have the highest median values. Okay. So as an exercise, what I'd like for you to do is like for you to make a similar plot, similar box plot for organization type where you sort by the um, median value for the log of the number of records breached. So go ahead and pause that and try it, and then come back when you're done. Um, this will actually conclude our video screencast on looking at a single numerical variable and a single categorical variable. Um, in the next screencast, we're going to look at categorical variables on their own and some of the uh, different um, ways you might want to plot and interact with those variables. Um, so um, with that, I'll see you next time.